Hey, Amber. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so I was reading through your writing and um, you're talking about the tedious part of graphic design in, in typesetting. And, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to disagree with you, but I also want to just encourage that it, it just gets so much easier as you as you gain experience i mean a lot easier things right now that you're 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 like thinking gosh darn that's just hard. so hard to remember and so hard to say it becomes muscle memory and it, it you, you start doing it automatically i promise you i'm telling you the truth so the, the tedium is something that that definitely diminishes with a little more experience um okay good job describing your layout your intent let's go ahead and jump right over um Okay, didn't have a chance to print it yet. That's that's cool. I'm fine with that. Um, no problem. Let me see. All right, here we are. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I think it's a really interesting cover. I, I do. I think that it's it's to to a high degree. I think that the, the image kind of defines the color palette. That is neat stuff right there. So this is good. Love the type typeface. Love it. I'm so glad you used a, a complimentary typeface as well. So this is good stuff. All right, page one, double spread, or I mean, uh, two columns on each page, two column type, um, uh, two, two type boxes, that's fantastic, two columns, that's, that's just really good stuff, good stuff. Um, regs look great. Um, I can tell you one interesting thing might be to do this, is to take that orange right there and drop cap your, or your, your B orange. That it might work, it might not. Try it, see what you think. Um, good job with your captions. I would uh, uh, oblique those or, or set those in, a, in italic, the captions. Really good job, too. Now, you don't have to adhere to the grid here at the bottom. What you can do is you can drop that image to the baseline and then extend the, the caption below it that's that's personal preference that's up to you that's what i do I, I personally would align the image and drop the caption below but that's personal preference definitely i'm going to go through your type in a second let's look about let's look at layout first layout is really clean um really clean so so good job i, I think it's an interesting choice to take the heavy text page and not to place the the pattern background that was a good choice um as it could be problematic with with uh, readability and legibility placed over color, so that was a good choice. Everything here is looking fantastic. Um, rags are looking great. Okay, let's go through. Let's go through. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can take a closer look. Let's make some final comments. Okay, looking great. Yep, yep. Reduce that type size. That looks great, doesn't it? So much cleaner then. So much cleaner than the full size uh, numerals. Regs can be adjusted here a little bit. I want to work on those. Dropping that A to the next line is definitely going to help. Yep, that, that, that area right there can be cleaned up. Our, our, your, your other rags are looking fantastic. <clears throat> that area's a little problematic. That should be a hanging quote right there. That quote should hang in the margin. And if you just, if you, if you Google um, uh, setting hanging punctuation in InDesign, it's really, really simple to do. And it gets noticed. It's an advanced technique. That, that's something that I would highly recommend doing it, it really, really gets noticed. Oh, there's there's your all caps that you dropped. It's a good size, good good job, excellent, excellent. <laughs> this is good stuff. Yep, hang that quote, definitely wanna do that. That'll get noticed. Um, looking good, looking good. I'm not seeing any, any hyphens, which I think is a good thing. Nice, nice, okay. Typeset looks great. Let's drop to this page. Good, good stuff, fantastic. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing good stuff here. Um, 
have you tried? Well, actually, it, it really doesn't matter. Nope, those look good. Those look good. Just trying to check one thing here. Okay. Reference pages and, and uh, achievements looks fantastic. That page looks great. I think this is I this is good stuff. Just a couple of recommendations there, and and, and this is good stuff. So, um, all right. I mean, just a couple of things, but this is really done very well. So, so when you print it out, um, just be sure. Now, I don't know if you're going to print it at Kinkos or not. But one thing, since you've got bleed on these pages, one thing you might want to mention and might want to mark in your digital file is the crop marks. So what's going to happen is if you don't tell them to print full bleed, you're going to get white borders on the edge. If you if you print it at home, you're going to get white borders on the edge too, just because simply um, our, most home printers don't have the capability to print to the edge of the page. So what you would do is you would take your, your just, just crop it out and show them that you want to pull in the, the digital file, you want to make sure that the image, the uh, bleeding backgrounds are pulled to a, a bleed guide and then you're going to set a crop mark so that when they trim this out it's going to have color running all the way to the edge of the page you would do that on each page even the white pages you would you would place a crop crop marks um and tell them that if you take it to kinko's or, or, or a print center tell them that you want this to full bleed um and and uh and they'll set it up as such um if you print it at home i completely understand you, you won't be able to do that but um all right. Other than that, looking great. Can't wait to see the final. And uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.